got these four warp gates. If he could just up these probes here, there you go, get him back into gas too. I was kind of surprised to not see any other units besides the Zealots at this point as well. But here we are. So we, <laughs> we also have our nice, uh, all the food supply down here for the red player. And we have a couple food supply down for the blue player as well. So this is kind of where the, where the farm is, all the food for the players. And alas, here comes four more Zealots coming in. Uh, again, I don't know if that's going to be enough to take out two spine crawlers at this point, And a third is getting thrown down. I think blue needs to just hold off for a while and just kind of build up his forces. He should be ahead if he, I mean, luckily he does have the chrono boost and should be able to boost out those probes and get his economy back up and running because he still has all of his production facilities and that's sort of where his main advantage is at this point because the red player still has to build up everything from scratch. So we do have two zerglings underway. That's the, uh, oh, excuse me, the first uh, combat units besides the... Uh, Spine crawlers here to come out for the third player. And unfortunately, they can focus in on this uh, spawning pool, which is out of range of the spine crawlers. Two Zerglings going to bolt in and out. But I think that's, that spawning pool is going to fall. Maybe, maybe not. Yeah, focusing it down. And there it goes. So again, it looks like the little broodlings coming out to run. Little Zerglings from the broodlings. They're so brutish lean -y. Uh, but the queen is out now as well, and so it looks like, I don't know, this Zerg player is holding on now. We do have this, there's the first stalkers we see as well. It does have that pylon for reinforcements. I really like the, uh, ooh, couple, of, excuse me, I missed this completely. The Zerglings run in, it looks like they took out some of the probe line here, more Zerglings as well, and that, that's <laughs> not good for the blue player who is trying to rebuild his economy as well. Finally going to try to take down that overlord. But as I was, excuse me, I was trying to say here was that I do actually really like this placement of pylons from the blue player as they're just getting all over the map here and easily to warp in those reinforcements wherever they may need to be. But still, let's, again, quick look at the income. Red is now uh, just pulling away as those, uh, excuse me, Zerglings came in and really just crushed the economy again of the blue player. So that's... I mean, that's just a great move, letting uh, the red player catch up on the economy. And now it's over double in the mineral count. These zealots are still hanging around the base, but this is starting to not look good as more reinforcements are coming in, ready to go. Another spawning pool just finishing up as well. And those three spine crawlers alone for defense and one queen. So here we come. And again, it looks like those stalkers might be able to pick this off out of range of the uh, spine crawlers, but the zealots are going to have to stay back. Those zealots are going to have to stay back. And we'll see what happens here. More repositioning of the spine crawlers. A little spine crawler versus the Protoss player unit duel here. And they just can't seem to get in the right spot to protect that spawning pool. And it looks like, again, it'll go down. And he already is rebuilding another spawning pool. I think he should try to build it closer up here. Maybe close to the drone line so he can protect it. And those broodlings come up to run from the broodlings. And did not quite kill that zealot, but it did get him down. And it looks like he was just going to pile in. Here. here come the zerglings. This is going to be pretty nice here. The zealots are so slow, especially against the zerglings on creep. And again, blue is just going to have to pull back again. And looking at the income, this is really how Zerg has gotten back into this game. Just just got to, these spine crawlers have just been just enough to allow him just to rebuild up to 20 harvesters at this point now. Another attack coming in, the Zerglings rush in. A nice surround on the Zealots there. Spine crawlers, but they do retreat again. Oh, oh, trying to stay in the range of those spine crawlers. And that queen even coming in, very nice. Transfusing the spine crawler to get those HP back. And at this point, I mean, it's kind of hard for the blue player to get too many reinforcements because the income is just so low and it keeps taking that damage down on the drone line there. But here we are. We have 10 more Zerglings underway, 4 more underway, 12 more underway. So that he's just pumping out Zerglings, trying to hold off his base. And so far, it is working well, and his economy is getting back. And this is another nice little defense there, a little just some back and forth. The spine crawler, unfortunately, does fall for the Zerg player. And this blue army is starting to look a little more fearsome every time they come in. The Zelda are going to try, or excuse me, the Stalker is coming in. Zergling's going for a surround. Queen coming out for some action. And that is, yes, another Spine Crawler coming down. 
you're trying to get some, try to surround even some drones in the action there. But ooh, this is very nice, very nice. And it did take out a zealot, it looked like. But the, a lot of those zerglings fell as well. It's just so evenly matched at this point. It seems like if either player goes all in, they could potentially lose everything. So the blue, I would, I would think at this point, if we take a quick look at the army count, blue is slightly ahead here, but you have to take into account the, um, the drones there as well. So it is about 20 for the red player, I believe. Take a quick look at 21. So it is about even here, taking a look at the army. Blue is, is slightly ahead by 5 or 10. And here we go again. Looks like Blue could be taking it down. The Zerglings have fallen. Spine Crawler canceled. Another Spine Crawler falls. And the Queen is about to fall. This could be it for the Zerg player running into the drill mine. <laughs> and somehow I completely missed this down here. Already another hatchery up and running. And plenty of Zerglings going to flood in. And the Blue player must be thinking, yes, finally, again. I have defeated him. I have found his base. Here we go. And oh, they're not even going to try to defend the base. This is a very smart move, I think, on the red player's part. He's going to just run right in here and just completely decimate this mineral line. The stalkers up here and the zealots sadly just warped in here. And this, oh, uh, the zerg. Very, very nice movement. Some people might, might not like this play. Some people might think it's BM to just kind of uh, bounce around trying to trying to uh, stay alive. But, I mean, the Zerg player is doing it very smartly. I mean, if you can't scout him, you can't find him, This and he's winning. So, I, you know, in my book, this is a very smart play. If you can't take him down, you might as well keep going, keep fighting. And this is, all of a sudden, this is... I put my money back on a Zerg player for this match here because finally the production facilities are going to fall. Oddly enough, not taking out this pylon quite yet, focusing down the other buildings. And there goes the pylon. That's going to drop all these warp gates. The, resor or the uh, reinforcements are going to slowly flood back in here, trying to take out these Zerglings. But so much damage done just by this amount of Zerglings here. And I think they, and even even retreating there, very interesting. Just not enough confidence here to take down these zerglings. And I think that's sort of what happens when you lose your entire base. I mean, there's just a couple of pylons sitting around at this point, and you know, just taking a quick look at the what I want to look at the resources. Uh, this is this is really bad for blue. This is really bad for blue because I do not believe that there's any way for them to get enough another nexus it, that's it i think that's going to be it i think zerg has won this because zerg is in fact getting income and usually when you're getting income and your opponent has none and no harvesters usually a good indication that uh you're going to win and the only hope that blue has at this point uh not to split up that would be a bad choice but you just have to go all in and attack as soon as possible because you're not going to win when they have income and you don't. <laughs> so blue needs to find where red is at this point. ASAP and attack. I mean, four spine crawlers, it's it's pretty hopeless at this point. But playing defense is is not the way to go at this time of the game. Zerglings are just going to run around. And this is probably just going to be how long until they destroy these pylons. Probably not going to see any GG at this point, I would imagine. So... Here's the blue player playing defense, trying to hold off that Zergling Assault on that pylon, but I believe he is down to two pylons as well. Take a quick look here. Just take a look spending. Um, yeah, so after all that, you know, hopping around the base, is just so much more has been spent on economy here and technology, but odd, oddly enough, a lot, of, a lot spent on the army, but just apparently not enough, not the right decisions made, not enough scouting to figure out when need be to take down the Zerg player. So again, they're just going to, I'm not really, like I said, I'm not really sure what the point of playing defense is. Maybe he, he doesn't even know, no, he does not know where the Zerg player is. And I guess that's the only reason to try to hang out at the pylon and just hold off until you can figure out where. But I think this stalker is going to meet a very quick, unfortunate end. <laughs> Maybe not. Uh, is he going to go in? I, bad choice. Don't do it. Don't do it, stalker trying to get as much information uh, that's that's probably enough for him to know that he should back off uh, sadly there's another one zerglings 
and a queen. Um, and now this is going to be it, I think. Here they go. This is it for all the marbles. Kind of position themselves properly. And here they come. Here come the Zerglings. They're going to get a nice surround. They're not even going to try to lure them into the base. And at this point, this might be a bad choice for the Fred player, because I think these Zerglings, uh, I don't know if they're going to do enough. But they are taken down. So now, it's a very interesting position for the blue player, because if he can maneuver around these spine crawlers, he could do enough economic damage to at least try. But I don't know, just in the end, he will have to destroy four spine crawlers, and I don't know if that's going to be possible with four stalkers and one kill. So here they go, more Zerglings underway as well. And there they come, the Flood of Zerglings going to take up their Stalkers, and that is it. Snowflake has left the game. Zerg player hopping around the map on Metalopolis is victorious. Thanks again, everybody, for watching. Please send your replays to jbirdstarcraft at gmail.com. And if you have anything else, please feel free to ask, and please subscribe to my channel if you like what you're watching. So thanks, everybody. See ya.